Hi everyone! Today is May 6th, 6th day of Stitch Mania. Today I am working on my Cinderella Dreams cross stitch pattern. And I'm pretty sure by now you guys already can tell that there is a pattern itself on the days that I'm filming with alternating between the Pokemon and Cinderella cross stitch patterns. Today's video is going to be up a little earlier than usual, mainly because today happens to be a sports-filled day. I spoke a little about this yesterday, but today we have three games that we're watching, starting all at, I think the games start at 4, and then the last game starts at 7. So we're working with, um, what we're going to be watching first is... The Milwaukee Bucks and Boston Red Sox, um, Boston Red Sox, <laughs> Boston Celtics uh, basketball teams. They're going to be playing at four, and then after that, we'll be watching the Golden State Warriors and the Houston Rockets game. So that'll be interesting, and then after that, we'll be watching the hockey game, which is the Sharks versus the Colorado Avalanche. I believe and then uh, and that's that's the day but we because we're watching all these games today I decided to film a little bit earlier that way I still have a video out for the sixth day and I get to enjoy the games as well like I had said in that pre previous video from yesterday, I don't have a specific team that's playing in the NBA or NHL playoffs. Um, I just like watching them. My husband watches them as well. His two teams are playing today, which are the Celtics and the Sharks. So I guess those are the teams that I'm rooting for for playoffs, but I don't have a a team that's mine for any of those two uh, type of sports. Come on. So like I had, uh, I've been working on this piece since May 1st, so for the past five days now, since today's day six. Why can't I, oh. That's why. I apologize. I have all this extra fabric that I'm trying to work with or cross stitch around and that's why the needle's not going through it was getting stuck but like I was saying I have been working on both pieces for the past five days and I have seen a little bit of progress been made on both of them um, on this one in particular, I see that I've gotten a lot of the confetti done. So as you can see, I have filled in this area a little bit more. This whole section had a lot of speckles that's so done. This is almost done. So this, these three rows right here will soon be done. And then I can start on, an, on an, a 10 by 10 square and have that completely done. So I'm slowly filling everything in. Um, I have been watching a few YouTube videos on different confetti stitching methods. And there was one that I saw that did stood out to me. Um, and I might take up that method, which is what they first did was um, I forgot who I watched. I should have written it down. But what they first did was they went ahead and only cross-stitched the confetti section. And then after that, they went in and filled in all the empty spaces with a, um, with the main color. So if there was like, for example, if the section was mostly black, what they went in is did all the confetti section first 
and then they went in with the black afterward to fill up the space which is something I think I might end up doing I'm actually going to thread another color right now as I'm talking but my previous method to doing this and I think where I have issues is at is I went and did a solid color all the way first and then went in and that's kind of where I'm at right here where I did all this piece that's one solid color and then decided oh we'll just go back and fill in empty spots which is proven to be easier uh, proven to be hard easier to say than do mainly because I have all this extra thread that the needle has to basically force itself through and I don't want to mess up my needle I've actually had one needle break on me and I literally mean I had needle where Where this piece right here, the eye, if it focuses, probably not, but I had the eye of the needle break literally right here while trying to push it through the back of, the, of a piece because it was so thick. And granted my needle was a smaller size and it was a lot thinner, but I don't want to risk that again. And so now I'm being a little bit more cautious of how I, oh, sorry about that. I just had a message come through. Um, but anyway, that is something that I'm working on. I want to make sure that I try, I'm going to try that different method of doing the confetti first and then filling everything up with the second color or the main color so that one all the th confetti threads on the back get anchored down by that main color. And two, I don't have to go back and risk breaking my needle. So I'm excited for that to see how that's going to work out. Let's see. Okay, we're going to be right here. Okay. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. I'm going to try out that method on the next go around um, just to make sure that everything is showing up the way I had planned. For now, this is where I'm at in this method. I'm going to finish it up um, just so that I have, I can say I tried out one method that didn't work out and I'm going to try a different one. I enjoy learning, so I'm not... Uh, I'm not bothered that I have to try out several things at once just to see if they work. Today is Monday. I hope I already mentioned that. I hope everyone had a fast work day. If you guys work, that today went by fast for you guys. I know everyone can't wait for Memorial Day weekend this month if you have it off. People usually go camping or enjoy the three-day weekend. Do you guys have any plans for that or just going to stay home? I know it's still a few weeks away, but I'm a planner by nature. So I just plan on staying home. Don't know if I will have a family barbecue or not to go to, but I'll decide then. But I am excited to have a three-day weekend. I know my husband's excited for a three-day weekend. So we're just counting on the days. And actually, that weekend happens to be the weekend where uh, the movie Aladdin comes out. So I know I'll be watching that movie. That happens to be my husband's favorite Disney movie as well. So I'm excited for that. I know there's been some controversy on people not too excited that Will Smith is going to be playing Genie. But the way I see it is my generation had Robin Williams as Genie. Unfortunately, he has passed. 
I do think Will Smith was a better choice. And of course, he's not going to be the original genie because the original genie isn't here. But I do think they honored his character from the original animated film very well from what I've seen in the commercials. So I am excited to see how that translates over into the full movie. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. If you're going to watch it, let me know and what your thoughts are about that movie so far. Even if it is just based on the commercials, um, I'll be interested to know what you guys think. Oops, just lost my needle. Finally, a light green to work with instead of a dark blue or black. Pretty soon this tree is going to be done and I'll be able to work on some of the sky. Oh, come on. See, this is what I mean. There's so many, because I'm using a two by two thread, the hole that it needs to go to is so filled already with this so many different threads that it's just not it's a little bit hard to push through for this one I'm wondering what I have this right here for this magnet um, I have it so that it can hold my needle and I don't lose it there's been times where I just do this with my needle and I'll pull it through the, the fabric like this and uh, it gets lost or it falls and <laughs> I lose it. And I don't want to do that. Needles might not be expensive, but when you're constantly replacing them, I'm like, okay, I, I can't be losing my needles anymore. And yeah, they might be only like 2 $3 for a pack, but you have like four to, I think it's four to five needles in a pack and then you start losing them it adds up and it's like yeah no I can't cannot be doing that anymore I'm wasting too much money on needles <laughs> I usually buy my needles when they're on sale or when I have a coupon and then I just basically stockpile them so I have a few to last me for a while um, but I don't plan on purchasing any more needles I'm thinking I might do a video later on in the month on my process of storing my cross-stitch threads and my needles together. So that might be something I do in the works. Let's see, not to thread a different color. Three, six, seven. There it is. But yeah, we shall see. I do have to catch up, and I might do that today on um, Floss 2 videos on everyone that's been working on Stitch Mania pieces. I didn't watch anything on May 1st right away just because I knew a lot of people were probably going to start posting on um, what they had planned to, to cross stitch or things like that and I just wanted to have my YouTube video list have a chance of stockpiling I guess videos so I can binge watch so I am excited to watch some videos probably today make sure I'm using the correct color three, six, up. Yep, three, six, up. All right. Do you guys have any favorite uh, cross-stitch YouTubers that you guys watch? I would love to know any recommendations for new ones. 
and this is an example of what I mean, like this little square right here that I'm finishing up, it just needed one thread color and that's it. So I do have a lot of those where the confetti hits. And then that's it, there's nothing else to it. I'm gonna make sure I'm in the right spots. Not here. Sorry, I'm just counting my squares. Nothing else anywhere else, okay. And then as I go along, I just mark off the pieces that I did. So as you guys can see, I have done a lot more filling in of the confetti Bring you guys up closer. So here, a lot of this is already filled in. I have a few patches here, but not as much as I did when I first started this piece. Um, it's a slow process on this one. Right now, I'm, the plan is to get it all done. I do want to have at least this whole row right here done before the end of the week so it is Monday I should have that done that's the plan um, and then slowly move down over and then get rid of all these extra threads and these are just my part threads I don't like leaving them in the back so I put them up here in the front um, the reason why I don't like them in the back is I don't want them to get tangled so instead what happens is I pull my thread through the back through the front like this and what I do is when I, as I'm cross stitching, as you can see like here, it gets picked up and it gets anchored down so that these things don't get, are, don't come apart and don't come out loose. Um, here, all this is so much thread that's so thick because I decided to do confetti last instead of first. So that's a big old learning curve right there. Eventually it will look clean like this piece up here. So this is how the back looks like. Once I'm done, it's with the color. I thread it through the back. When I come up through the front, it lands up here in the front. I continue stitching down this way and then I'll just snip everything out and I'll put it in my orts jar, which is, I believe it's, um, I have to look up the name again, but I know it's basically a jar like this that has all my loose threads that I had cut. So that's the back of it. It's basically, now it just looks like a little pancake of thread. It's molded itself into my jar. And these little curly ones right here is because I how to frog a project was basically take off uh, stitches from a project that I had messed up. I found a stitch marker. But yeah, I keep all my loose threads in here so when I cut it from here, I stick them in here and then I make sure that uh, the plan is for these threads that at the end of the project, I plan on putting them either in a small little um, glass jar and like just pack as many of this in there or get one of the plastic ornament balls that usually come out around Christmas time. You usually find them at the dollar store, stuff them in there 
and then tag the ornament ball with the name of the project. And actually, I might not do that because I use this for both Pokemon and Cinderella threads. So I think what I might end up doing is just getting an ornament ball instead. And then once I complete or fill up this whole jar itself, and this is a, just a reusable Bath & Body Works candle jar that I'm using. Once it's all filled, I'll fill up that ornament bulb with these threads and then just mark the year on it um, just to see how much thread I used up for that project. So, so far, this is everything that I've used this year. So it's, it's not too much, I would say. Yeah, it's not too much. But um, yeah, I'm excited to see how this, this jar is going to look like at the end of the year as well. And then making sure that this, both projects get done. Excuse me, at least the Pokemon one has to get done by, the, by December. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get this stuff done. I know I keep saying that I'm excited, but I really am. I enjoy these projects a lot. I don't get bored of them. I know I had started this one back in 2017. It's been two years, and I've only had this much done. But in those two years... Um, life basically took over and I didn't have it had I didn't have enough time to work on this project like I wanted to and now that I do I am working on it a little bit more and and I'm really enjoying it well I'll um, leave you guys here with the last image right here of what I've worked on so far um, again this is going to be an earlier video video that's going to go up just because it is game day tonight if you guys do happen to watch any of the three games today let me know who you guys think is going to win, um, what your teams are, if they are playing. And if your team isn't playing, who is your team? Thank you for spending time with me today, and I appreciate your comments, likes, and subscriptions. I hope that you guys are having a great Monday so far. And thank you for spending time with me today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks.